What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and if you are it's about to get even better because today I have a story about a Kyle ladies and gentlemen. That's right. The Eevee, the Eevee, Eeviest, Eeviest? Okay, I'm thinking Pokemon. The easiest type of person to hate. Uh, an old-fashioned Kyle, you know? They've got the monster hat on backwards, they're like chomping on a can of monster or Red Bull, you know, whatever energy drink they've got in their hands that day. And uh, yeah, as you can tell from the title, basically this is an incident where a Kyle uh, made a flamethrower and we had to coerce him to put down the flamethrower in the crowded party because it was dangerous. Yeah, that's right, Kyle's really just be ruining the party on a major scale. <clears throat> it's, it's so good, it's not good. Nice rack in her ass Brazilian Just turned 21 but my bank's a million Swear I'm a little drunk but it's a hell of a feeling Alright guys, so I wasn't exactly like a party fiend in high school by any means You know, I would go to them every now and then But it wasn't something that I really wanted to spend like every Friday night doing Because it tends to be, especially in high school That things get out of control like very, very, very fast You know, way too fast And 9 times out of 10 you can't get out of there Like the older you get, the more obvious it gets when stuff's getting out of control but in high school you know one second everyone's clapping their hands and doing the Macarena the next second some kid took off all his clothes and is getting tasered outside and you're like oh all right this is my Friday night now sick so I usually tried to avoid them but one Friday night my friends convinced me to go to this party that was being thrown at this like mansion thing you know and obviously, because uh, I'm a normal human being, any excuse to go party at a mansion, I'm gonna take. Oh my god, why would you want to go do that? Like, wh why would you not? Are you against having fun and, and, like, doing things that are cool? Yeah, that's right. I got a story out of it that I got to tell on YouTube. And if you think that I'm weird for wanting to party in a mansion, that's why you're watching this and don't have the story. But regardless, there was, like, this mansion party, so... We pull up, and there's like some people that I know, but most people there, I have no idea who they are. But there is one guy that walks up to us right away and makes it very, very, very clear to us. Like, honestly, one of the most clear things that I've ever seen, that he is the host of this party, and his name is Kyle. And we're like, alright, Kyle, nice to meet you, man. And this dude just looked like the apparition of, I don't know, uh, a certain product that you uh, intake through your nostrils. He was, like, cracked out, man. His eyes were already, he's like, man, I'm gonna throw the coolest party ever, dude. It's gonna be so cool. I'm, I'm Kyle, I'm the host. And we're like, all right, Kyle, nice to meet you. And he's like, you guys are cool. You're sticking with me all night. And we're like, okay, sure. We didn't really know anybody else, but when the host of this mansion party is like, yo, stick with me, it's not like I'm gonna argue with him. Like, oh, no, no, no. Clearly, uh, I'm gonna go stand with the other people that I don't know. Plus, like... This guy is obviously just a little bit crazy, and it's gonna be entertaining to follow him around all night because, like, there is nothing more entertaining than somebody who's just going off every impulse they've ever done. So we're just kind of hanging out with him and following him around, and he's, like, walking around the party saying hi to everybody. Any chance he gets to, like, take a drink with somebody or a shot with somebody he's taking, and this dude is just an animal. Like, he's just the life of the party. Everybody he meets, he makes them feel great. He's like, ah, oh, what's up, man? Like, like, ah, oh, you're so awesome. Great to have you here, you know? He, he's the life of the party. And finally, he turns around and he looks at me and my friend. He's like, are you guys having fun? We're like, yeah, it's pretty cool, dude. You know, it's a great place. Do you own it? And he's like, oh, no, it's my parents' place, but you know, they're out of town for like a couple weeks, so I figured I would throw a party. And we're like, oh, are you scared of getting in trouble? And he's like, Nah, nah, like, it's no big deal. And I make the mistake of asking him a very simple question, which is like, oh, how are you gonna clean up after the party, you know? Like, what's your plan to clean up? And he looks at me, and he's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, well, you know, everybody's gonna trash the place. Like, what are you gonna do tomorrow morning when the house is trashed and stuff is missing and, like, things are gone? He's like, well, why would things go missing? I'm like, well, you're throwing a party in a mansion that most of the city knows about, and, uh... You know, when most of the city hears that a rich place is going to be unlocked, things get stolen. And he kind of just has this wide look in his eyes. He's like, you really think people are going to steal stuff tonight? And me and my friend are looking at each other and we're like, yeah, you tweeted out your address and said, come to my mansion party. People are definitely going to steal stuff. We just thought that you like didn't care. And listen, it's not right that people are going to steal stuff. Like, I've never stolen something from a mansion party, okay? But stuff gets stolen from normal parties all the time. Like, any high school party, there's always the day after, like, okay, who the hell took my mom's salad bowl? Like, why would you guys even want a salad bowl? Like, kids are just dumb. So, yeah, we're kind of like, uh, obviously stuff was going to go bad here. And he starts getting this look on his face like, crap. 
and he starts asking us, you know, what are they going to steal? And we're like, I don't know. I, I don't steal stuff, so I can't really give you an answer. Like, I, I can't be like, oh, yeah, well, usually, you know, uh, hot dogs are the first things to go. Like, I'm not familiar with the, the thought process of somebody who steals stuff all the time because I just don't do it. And he's like, I need to get everybody out of the house now. Da -da 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 -da. And we're like, okay, let's just calm down, dude. Like, we'll figure it out. We'll find a way to get everybody out. He's like, no, I need everybody out now. And he, like, runs into the bathroom and just slams the door, and nobody is allowed in. So he comes out of the bathroom, and I don't know who has this stuff in the bathroom, but he's got, like, a can of Febreze and a lighter. Not, like, a lighter, though. Like, one of those big butane lighters, like the camping lighters that you use to turn on a grill. And he's like, I need to get everyone out here. And he just starts frantically running towards the banister in this mansion. And if you overlook, there's a big crowd of people. And he's just screaming, get out, get out. And everybody's just kind of looking at him like, who is this crazy dude? You know, they think it's some type of prank or something. And that's when he just starts like flamethrowering over the balcony, like get out. And I mean, listen, is it like a flamethrower in regards of it's throwing flame 80 feet? No, but if you've ever seen, like I'll put a video up here, maybe a GIF or something of what it looks like when you make like a little flamethrower out of a lighter and a can of Axe. And now imagine like a butane gas lit lighter and a can of Febreze. So yeah, this is going on and now people are like, what the hell? People are screaming and running and the party is just in absolute chaos. And now, like, his entire point was to prevent stuff from getting broken, but now people are like fleeing the house because there's this dude running around with a Febreze flamethrower just vibing like Wah! everywhere he goes, you know, just being an absolute maniac. And here's the worst part. As he's doing it, he trips and falls, but for whatever reason, he still is holding the can of Febreze, and so it just sprays on the floor, and the lighter is still on, so it just, like, vooms across the floor, and the carpet just gets this nice, like, mmm, caramel crunching all over it as, like, the Febreze burns the top of it. And then one of the curtains like across the floor just <laughs> bursts into flames, dude. Like not bursts, I guess. The bottom of it catches on fire though. It's not like the entire thing is burning, but like the bottom of this curtain is definitely on fire now and it's noticeable. So now people are screaming fire. And sure enough, the party does empty out, you know, between him running around with the flamethrower and now everybody's screaming fire. The party's emptied out, but along the way, like parts of the banister are getting broken, stuff's getting broken, like it's just trashing the place. And this curtain's on fire. So my friend runs over and starts like frantically trying to put out the curtain and Kyle gets back up and picks up the flamethrower. And I'm like, put down the flamethrower. And he looks at me and he's like, why? And I'm like, dude, put it down, put it down. And he's like, fine. So he finally like stops the flamethrower, right? I'm yelling at him, Kyle, put down the flamethrower, which like, you never feel like you're gonna be at a party and have to yell at somebody to put down a flamethrower. That's not something you're ever expecting to have to do on a Friday night. So now the party's cleared out and he's just like sitting there and I don't know if it's the combination of what's gone on or like, you know, I, I it, the curtain being on fire, yelling at him or what, but all of a sudden it becomes very clear that he is very aware of his surroundings and he's like oh my god like I'm screwed I'm screwed and me and my friend are like are, are you okay he's like yeah I'm fine like just you guys just get out of here and we're like are you sure he's like get out of here get out of here like look what you did and we're like uh look what we did he's like yeah this never would have happened if it wasn't for you guys like you guys scared me and we're like uh okay Okay, yeah, definitely my fault for warning you that people were gonna steal stuff from the mansion that you were letting strangers into. My bad. And, uh, when I told you that, I didn't exactly think that you were gonna, like, run to the bathroom and get a flamethrower and come out and just, like, light your curtains on fire, but whatever. He's screaming at us to get out, so me and my friend are like, we would have helped clean up, but if you really want us out of your hair like you don't want us here, then that's totally fine. So, uh, yeah, in the span of one night, I made a new friend named Kyle, uh, and then watched him light his own curtains on fire with a flamethrower while trying to keep a party a secret, which, I mean, I never talked to him again, I never got his phone number or anything during the party, we were only friends for, like, three hours, I guess, but I will say that, that was probably hard to hide. Like, bursting curtains into flames, you know, the entire carpet having a nice burn mark on it. Like, that's probably not a v's easy one to get away with, so he probably got screwed. But hey, we tried to help. You yielded us to get out. Moral of the story is, though, parties do get out of control, like, uh, for sure, sometimes, you know? And if you are going to throw a party, be aware that your house is going to get trashed and stuff is going to go missing. Like, don't be naive and assume that every stranger in your city isn't going to rob you. Like... 
Come on, someone's up to no good, and that's not being paranoid, that's just called reality. And just don't throw parties without your parents' permission because you're gonna get caught. Like, the odds of you legitimately throwing a party and getting rid of all the evidence is slim to none, and that's my genuine advice. But uh, yeah, on that note, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to press the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. If you've made it this far into the video, go ahead and comment the word, I don't know, Aquafina down below. But yeah, if you enjoyed the intro song, a link will be down below in the description to the Spotify version of it. And uh, if you really, really enjoyed, get yourself some of the OG Sub Club merch, the hottest merch in the game, and use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout for quite the discount for all your G Fuel needs. But uh, yeah, on that note, guys, I'm going to go try to see whatever happened to people whose curtains bursting into flames and see if there's a logical explanation like lightning coming through your window. Uh, before I go, though, I do have some general advice. Don't get anyone pregnant, and if you do, make sure they're hot. Hopefully, I will see you guys all tomorrow with another video. And on that note, I am out. Oh, my God, dude, 10.55. All right, I, I got to get it to 11. I'm sorry. It's, it's too close, guys. I, I had to.